Hi, Zach Pater here, River Valley Marina, River Valley Power and Sport of Red Wing. What a beautiful boat to take you through today. This is a boat that gets me excited. It is the Blackfin 212 Center Council. This is a 2019 just in absolutely jaw-dropping boat. We're gonna give you a walk through of this boat, start on the outside, that beautiful reef blue hull. This hull just, it shines, it's absolutely beautiful. Match that with the white bottom, the white uh, deck shear and the interior, that 300 horse mercury in white. There's just a lot to talk about on this boat and we're gonna do our very best to give you a nice walk through. Start on the outside and you'll see it's got that beautiful stainless rub rail. Take a look at these nice big pop-out cleats with the black fin badging in them. Beautiful through-hull fittings, the logoing on the outside of the boat. Take a look at that hard top while we're down here. That's all color matched, beautifully finished, nice grab rails, speakers, lights, rod holders, absolutely beautiful. Take a look at the flaring on the front of this boat. Lots of flare to it. Rides very uh, high out of the water. Beautiful, beautiful offshore designed boat. Nice 20 degree dead rise on this boat to really cut through the waves. Beautiful solid construction to it, but just a lot of body on this 21 foot black fin. Let's take a closer look on the inside. We're going to take a close look at the inside of this, but first we'll start right back here on the platform. Again, that 300 horse Mercury, beautiful setup. The boat holds 105 gallons of fuel, so you're going to be able to get to and from the uh, fishing grounds or just spend an entire weekend on the water. Take a look back here. One thing real unique with Blackfin is how, even with the outboard, this is a very usable swim platform. And you'll see you've got the ladder here right on the starboard side, nice big grab handles. You've got the shower on the back, more rod holders, um, your water fill, the ski pile on, just an extremely loaded area back here. Flip over to the port side and you have an extension of that platform and you can comfortably walk in between the outboard and the transom. Um, there's a little step through there, but it's actually very nice and very user friendly. All right, so we are going to take a walk on board here. First thing you notice, I think, is that nice big walk through transom. Very easy to board this boat. You got a full fiberglass floor, uh, beautiful seating. I love the Yeti right underneath the captain's seat there. Wraparound combings are everywhere in the boat. Again, we're going to look at a lot of the fine details in this, but you see the uh, underneath, you've got the rod holders, you've got the tow holds for if you're fishing, and the nice, again, calmings with the rod holders. Across the back you here, you've got a full back bench seat. Underneath this seat is actually um, where all your hardware is. Flip that open, and you can see we're getting to where all the pumps are, battery trays, transducer, battery switches, nice and convenient. What I like to really look at are things like the fit and finish of even things like the uh, cover here, how it's got all stainless struts, all gasket sealed, finished fiberglass lid, very, very well boat. The components in this boat are going to impress you from front to back, port to starboard. It is a very, very well built boat. While we're focused on the back of the boat here, take a look at the uh, bait well, all lit, gasket sealed, stainless hardware, pressurized, very, very nicely done by Blackfin. The back seat on the uh, port side here is removable. You can see self-bailing cockpit drains, but gives you that little extra space if you're fishing on the back of the boat. Work our way forward and we're gonna look at this beautiful helm seat. That is a solid piece of construction. It is amazing. Dual flip up bolsters. Makes it very nice for the driver and the passenger. You also see it's uh, basically open in the back to allow uh, a little bit of air to flow through. Very nicely finished, very solid. There's even a grab handle on the back of it for any passengers that would be standing behind you. I think that's kind of important to show off. And then while we're here, let's take a look at this helm. Absolutely clean, very crisp, very easy to use. Your trim tabs are easy to get to, digital throttle and shift, 
beautiful heavy duty wheel, storage underneath, foot rest underneath, the Ray Marine, compass, nice heavy duty windshield, very, very clean, room for more electronics, just a sharp looking setup. You'll see your VHF mounted just to the port side of the wheel. Just a good, crisp, clean helm station. We'll work our way to the front of the boat, but I wanted to just spend another few seconds here taking a look at the fit and finish of this hardtop. It is gorgeous. Beautiful glove box up there. The speakers, the lighting, the rod holders, the way they color matched it. That is an absolutely uh, beautiful hard top for a 21 foot center console. All right, we're gonna work our way forward. So far this boat, you'd probably say, uh, feels and looks much like a hardcore offshore fishing boat. And I would agree. Now when we get to the bow of the boat is where kind of that family fun, more the ability to create this into a luxury pleasure craft kind of comes into play. You have the large back seat, you got the beautiful helm, but up front you have a full wraparound bow section. You'll see it's got the uh, back rest that can flip over. They simply flip forward and now you have beautiful back rest for the wraparound seating area. You'll see these nice big grab handles, all stainless steel, and they're recessed. So they're not just bolted on in an afterthought. That was part of the creation of the boat. You also have the front seat here, which is going to lead you into the head compartment, which we'll take a look at in just a moment. I think another noteworthy uh, feature in the bow of this boat to make it even more family friendly and give you a little more creature comfort is the beautiful black fin table. Very nice, heavy duty uh, table there. Uh, the fit and finish of it is great and it really adds a lot to the bow of the boat. Another very nice noteworthy feature is the bow filler cushion. Simply put that cockpit table down, put the cushion in and you've got a nice area to lounge. So while we're up in the bow of the boat, I think it's worth noting the beautiful storage compartments in this boat. Take a look at this bow storage on uh, both port and starboard side under the seats. All gasket sealed, stainless hardware, very nicely finished inside and out, heavy duty lids, very, very well done. Same with the center storage. You can tell uh, it's deep enough to fit a five gallon bucket in there. It's very nice, all drainable, gasket sealed, heavy duty finished lids. Uh, I could go on and on about the fit, finish, and quality of these boats, but I think, uh, I think if you lay your eyes on it for yourself, that'll start to be pretty prevalent. So an area I don't want to miss, because I think on a 21, this is pretty important, is the head compartment. Could be used as a changing room or a nice storage location. Um, again, the actual head compartment itself is nice, big, roomy, fiberglass floors, fully drainable. An area down there for the table to uh, be stored. Access behind the dash through the large curtain there is easy to get to. Um, more storage off to the other side. Storage right below you uh, beneath the step. Look at this door though. Again, I go into this quality of the Blackfin product and it's heavy duty. Nice stainless, fully gasket sealed. A place for the table leg there. Just very, very well done. So that there is just a quick video walkthrough of the outside and the inside of this beautiful 2019 Blackfin. 212 center console with the hard top, the 300, the ski pylon, everything you could ask for in a 21 foot center console. It's big, it's bold, and it's beautiful. If you have any questions, please give us a call or email us at any time. Again, my name here is Zach Pater at River Valley Marina, River Valley Power and Sport of Red Wing, and I appreciate you taking a walkthrough of this Blackfin today.